Hello everyone. It's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a pleasure to seek Him in His kingdom each and every day, to glorify Him, to worship Him, and shout out His holy name each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad to be part of it and rejoice in it. Because this is the day. And I'm so happy each and every day that I'm able to rejoice in His holy name, to glorify in His holy name, to lift His name up high. Because we serve an awesome and amazing God. He is so loving, y'all. He is so faithful. He is everything to us. That's why I always give him the praise. That's why I'm always giving him the glory. That's why I'm always lifting his name up high. Because I'm in love with Jesus. Not because I want something. Not because I'm going through anything. Because I'm in love with Jesus. And I trust him with all my might, heart, and soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And today's text is coming from Genesis 32 verses 26 through 28 and today's lesson is Jesus has noticed some of y'all are just like Jacob you won't stop and what I mean by that they mean that you still holding on to Jesus each and every day no matter what your situation is like no matter what your circumstances look like you are still holding on to him and you let Jesus know right now that you will not let him go that you won't stop trusting that you won't stop believing him until he bless you that's what Jacob did. That's what somebody's doing right now. And I know this message is meant for somebody today. Amen. Amen. Before we get started, we all like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Our Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today. We can't thank you enough for our strength today. We can't thank you enough for our hearing and our voice today. We can't thank you enough that you that you always protecting us each and every day. We just can't thank you enough for every opportunity, every blessing, every door that you open up for us. We just can't thank you enough for the path that you're directing us on each and every day. We just can't thank you enough, oh Heavenly Father God, because we don't have nobody else to call on. We don't have nobody else to depend on. We can always call on you, and we can always depend on you, oh Heavenly Father God, because you said you'll never disown yourself. That's what you say in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11, 13. And for that reason right there, we just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough for your love. We just can't thank you enough for your favor. We just can't thank you enough that you are giving birth to every last one of our blessings today. We just can't thank you enough. I said, we just can't thank you enough, Jesus. We just can't thank you enough. That's why we always going to continue to lift your name up high, to glorify you, to worship you, and to praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your Bibles to Genesis 32, and we're going to read verses 26 through 28. That's Genesis 32, verses 26 through 28. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. Then the man said, let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jake replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have and have, have overcome. Right now, some of y'all are wrestling with God right now. And Jesus has noticed that. He noticed some of y'all just like Jacob. You won't stop wrestling with him. You won't stop tugging with him. You will not let him go until God bless you. And how Jesus noticed that? Because look at your situation that you're going through right now. Some of y'all are going through a lot of setbacks right now, a lot of letdowns. But that's, that's not stopping you. You're still holding on to him. Some of y'all are going through a lot of quietness. You ain't heard from God in a while. But it's still not stopping you. You're still holding on. Some of y'all are still going through... You storm, but you're still holding on. Some of y'all been praying and praying and praying, and you still haven't received an answer yet. You still haven't received a sign yet, but you're still holding on. That's how Jesus know that y'all are like Jacob. That's how Jesus know that y'all want y'all blessing. He noticed that. If he didn't notice that, some of y'all have been gave up a long time ago, but you haven't gave up now, have you? You're still holding on. That means that you still trust in him. That means that you still believe in him. And when Jesus see that, he said, now I got to bless my son right now. Now I have to bless my daughter right now because I see them. 
They are just like Jacob. They want their blessing. That's what Jacob said right here. He said, no, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Jacob was determined. Right now, one of my sisters right now is determined. Right now, one of my brothers are determined. They said, no, God, we're not letting you go until you bless us. We're not letting you go until you give birth to our blessings. We're not letting you go into whatever it is that we asking you for, whatever it is that we trust you in, whatever it is that we praying in, we're not letting you go until you bless us. And Jesus said, which child is that? Is that my son right there? Is that my daughter right there? Yeah, yes it is. They're not letting you go, God, until you, until you bless them. They're not going to let you go until you give birth to their blessings. They've been holding on way long. They've been holding on tight. No matter what the situation looks like. No matter what their circumstances look like. No matter what's going on in front of them. No matter they've been let down. They've been going through setback. We are still holding on tight to you. And we are not letting you go, Jesus, until you bless us. We're not going to let you go. We are not going to let you go until you bless us. Hmm. Then 28, then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struck with God and with men and have overcome. At that moment right there, when Jesus knows that we're struggling with him for a long period of time, that we're not going to let him go. And he noticed that right now. He noticed that. Trust me. Trust me, my brothers. Trust me, my sisters. Jesus noticed that we're not letting them go. He know we ain't stopping. He know we ain't giving up. He know we ain't letting down. So right now, I believe and I declare right now that Jesus is about to bless us right now. I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus that he's about to give birth to every last one of our blessings right now because we won't stop. We won't give up. Jacob didn't stop. Jacob didn't give up. So right now, Jesus knows the same thing about y'all. He said, some of y'all just like, like Jacob. You won't stop. You won't give up. Until I bless you. Just like how he did Jacob. He's like, wow. And Jacob was a small man. Look at this small man wrestling and squirking with God. God is a powerful man. And Jacob said, no, no matter what you do to me, no matter what's going on, no matter what my situation looks like, no matter what my circumstances look like, no matter if I'm my back against the wall, I'm not letting you go, God, until you bless me. And that's what exactly what we've been doing today right now, my brothers and my sisters. We've been struggling with God for a while. We've been wrestling with God for a while. In the midst of us struggling, in the midst of us wrestling, we have not let God go yet. We're still holding on. Why we holding on to him? Because we believe what we're asking for. We trust him. That's why we're still holding on. And Jesus has noticed that. Hallelujah. Now, who I'm talking to right now? I'm talking to somebody right now. Jesus noticed that we are holding on. Because why? One, he know we believe in it. Two, he know we trust him. Three, he got to bless us. Because if he, didn't know, if he didn't know that we didn't trust him, if he didn't know we didn't believe him, we'd have been let go a long time ago. But we have it. Now have we? We're still holding on to something. We're still struggling on to something. Because you believe in it. And you trust in God to come through for us. And that's what he's going to do. So if he did it for Jacob, what do you think he's going to do for you today, my brothers? If he did it for Jacob, what do you think he's going to do for you today, my sisters? He's going to bless you. He's going to give birth to our blessing. That's what I believe right now. That's what I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus that he's giving birth to every last one of our blessings right now because he knows that we won't stop. He knows that we won't quit and he knows that we ain't backing down and he has noticed that we are just like Jacob. So now he got to bless us. And he's saying, who are you? <clears throat> he is saying right now, who are you? I don't know who I'm talking to right now. If I'm talking to myself, I guess I'm the only one. I sure been holding on to God. I've been struggling with him because I ain't letting him go. Because I believe in this ministry. I trust in this ministry. I know it's the largest ministry. That's why I'm holding on to him because I believe in it. I trust in it. And he noticed. And he noticed the same thing for one of my sisters today. He knows the same thing for my brothers today. That's why Jesus about to bless us like he did Jacob. He said, no longer. But you had to go through that anymore. I got to bless you now. 
He noticed that you won't stop. He noticed that you won't quit. And he noticed that you won't give up. When Jesus take notice of that, get ready, my brothers and my sisters. You better give birth to your blessing. Your blessing is here. Your blessing just around the corner. Get ready to receive it right now. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know I'm talking to one. I ain't going to say one. I'm talking to all my brothers right now. And I'm talking to every last one of my sisters right now. Y'all get ready because Jesus is about to give birth to your blessing. Right now, your blessing is just around, right around the corner. And it's coming. Because Jesus, Jesus has noticed that you are just like Jacob. And he noticed that you won't stop. And he noticed that you won't give up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you receive this word today, and if this message is meant for you today, let's give him thanks right now today. Let's give him praise right now today. Let's give him glory right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Y'all stay blessed. I love y'all. In Jesus' name, amen.